doing? So, who out here likes to save money while being environmentally friendly? A lot of people? Yeah, that's most of the crowd. Well, my name is Amaya Clark, and I am project manager at Solar Controller. We have here Danya Rodriguez, marketing manager, Eric Bailey, design engineer, and not last but not least, Nicholas Murray, financial analyst. And we are Solar Controller, and we want you to be in control of your solar. Thank you. So I'm going to pass it on to Donna Rodriguez so she can share a little bit more about our mission. Well, our company mission is to well is to put you in control of of your um, future environment, and we also want you to have the best experience with solar, and more importantly, enjoy the freedom of being able to not have electric bills. Why to share this? <clears throat> we have offer efficiency up to 20 to 22 percent. And we have partnered with one million lights to develop it and, and, and distribute, distribute LED lamps, which they work with um, solar panels. And we, um, we go to, they go to our own like cities and towns that are in develop, in develop it, uh, all around the world. And another benefit of having solar solar panels in your house is that we reduce the electric bills and we limit increasing uti uh, utility rates. And horses, the value of your home, and contributes environmental benefits. And Maya, can you tell us something about the solar pollution? Of course. So, can I have the next slide? Otherwise. Keep going, please. Okay, site information. So our customer is Doug Blue, and he lives in Tustin, California. His electric rate is with Southern California Edison, and he has Schedule D. He uses an average electric rate of 22 cents per kilowatt hour, and this is an aerial footage of his house right here. And can, oh, okay, okay, thank you. So the intensity on the solar roof side, there's slight tree coverage, but that's okay because we have skilled workers who can work around anything that may be in the way. The solar orientation or azimuth of the roof is 180 degrees, the pitch angle of the roof is 23 degrees and the solar roof area is approximately 1,125 square feet. Note the inst installation issues. So there are some trees and waste vent near the roof, the, the crest of the roof, but it's minor and it can be worked around. So Eric, can you tell us a little bit more about the design of the system? Of course. Now as being the design engineer, uh, I went through many different designs and found there was many different uh, areas where I couldn't go through with putting panels on specific areas of the roof because there was few obstructions but not too many. Now with the final uh, decision that we came up to, we determined that uh, 16 panels was a great idea because uh, it allowed us to maximize the electrical uh, output given by all the panels. Now with all 16 of the X22 model of panels, uh, each panel there producing 360 watts of power would give uh, us a total uh, of 5,760 watts. Now, uh, our client used only 529 as an average, so we were giving him a bit extra, which gives him more room in case if he needs to add, make an addition to his house, or if for some reason he needs to use more electricity than normal. Now, with using uh, the total amount of watts of uh, 5,760 that the panel will be producing, uh, we need an inverter to convert it to alternative uh, current or AC from the DC that is put out from the solar panels. 
Now, uh, each panel produces 57.3 volts. We determined that if the panels, uh, that if we put the panels in two strings, uh, in uh, with eight panels in each string, the voltage produced would be 458.4 volts, which is in the range of the SPR 5000 series inverter. The inverters would be located on the uh, west side of the house, which is closer to the meter, so that way they can uh, work better together. Now, our solar system uh, is, is, uh, can produce uh, 5.76 kilowatt hours. And now, with here is most of the math and to find out how much it actually puts out. And, oh, In order to get the annual solar electricity being produced after it goes through the inverter, we multiply the power, uh, we multiply the power rating of the system and multiply it by 80% to account for the 20% loss uh, in the inverter through the efficiency of it. Next, we multiply that number by 5.6 hours of the solar uh, installation per day, and then multiply that by the 365 days out of the year. Uh, the annual solar electricity produced then came out to 9,419 kilowatt hours, which is just what our customer needed. And now, uh, Nick, could you take on uh, financial aspect? Certainly. So here at Solar Controller, we charge uh, $5 a watt, and our proposed solar system uh, is 5,760 watts. Therefore, the total cost of the system is $28,800. Luckily for our customer, uh, the government has graciously given anyone who buys solar panels a 30% tax credit. So that turns out to about $8,640 uh, from the system, which, which uh, makes the pay uh, total cost about $20,160. Okay, so over time it was determined uh, so our invert after the power goes through the inverter and loses 80% of its power that it that it normally gets given it converts from DC to AC, um, it produces about 9,418 kilowatt hours. Um, his uh, Mr. Blue's electric electric company was charging him about 22 cents per kilowatt hour, which gives him a total savings of $2,072, which was his cost over time, but now it's being reduced given he's getting solar electricity, which is free. Um, um, so over time, uh, $2,072 is 10.8% of his total investment that he had in the beginning of the $20,160, and it was determined that it would take him about 10 years in order to for his investment to pay off, and it's all profit after 10 years. So here at Solar Controller, we have three financing options. The first one is you can pay outright, you pay the $20,160, and then the system's yours, enjoy free uh, solar essentially, and take solace in the fact that you're helping the environment. Um, option two is we can loan you the $20,160, <coughs> which you will pay back over the next 10 years at a 5% compound interest rate. And option three is you can lease the system from us for $175 a month for five years. And the $175 is cheaper than what Mr. Blue was paying for um, electricity from Edison. So it's a win-win scenario there. Um, and after five years, there are three options. You can either A, uh, end his lease and we'll come by and take this uh, uh, solar system off and you can go back to Edison and we hope he enjoyed uh, five years of solar. Um, option two is he can renew the lease for another five years and enjoy solar for five years. And option three is he can buy the system outright for $15,000. Um, over the past five years he has paid about $13,000 for the solar system. So it seems like a fair price to charge him $15,000. But the sad part about this option is you do not receive the $8,640 tax credit from the government, so you're paying the full price of the system. 
Uh, now, if you wouldn't mind, am I uh, telling our customer about our amazing warranty options? Of course. So, with Solar Controller guarantees your happiness. That's the whole goal of this plan. So, what happens is if something happens to your panels due to weather or whatnot, it's not your fault. We totally understand that and we want to help you out and give you free panels, free of charge, and replace the ones that were damaged. Because we know you can't control the weather. Thank you so much for your time. And thanks again to Empower for putting on this amazing program. Before we go on to that, I'd like to point something out. Given our judges are essentially the customers, and we're all selling to the same people. They may have different names, but we're selling to the same people. The judges are making the correct decision here. Either way, you're helping the environment, you're getting free energy after time. So even if you don't choose our company, you're making a wise decision and take solace in that fact.